This is Latifa the lobster, and she's about ready to burst with 300 crayfish babies. The eggs you see under her are about a week from hatching into 300 unique little lobsters, functioning almost like a little society. The craziest part is that I never even meant to breed Latifa. I bought Latifa from my local pet store and she was not pregnant when I got her. Ever since I've had her, she's been having fun, playing with crabs, eating lots of food, and somehow she got pregnant by some mystery crayfish. So I decided to make the best of this scenario. Over the last eight weeks, I've raised these babies into a Spartan army killing machine. But before we get into the madness, let me take you back to where it all began. Today I will take you on Latifa's journey, a journey about love. If Latifa is so pregnant, well, she clearly had sex with someone, right? So who's the father? And goddamn, he has some good nut to make this many babies on oh, Jesus. So who is the father? Well, Latifa was last seen with these two men. So there's this guy who got beat by the mantis shrimp. And then there's this handsome orange guy. He lived with Latifa. And wait, that's her in the back of this video. But could he really be the father? This crayfish has been through so much. Malcolm fed him to the mantis shrimp. He survived. Feel that? Ooh. Ah! He survived. He even met my dog. Sonny, get him. Is it really possible? Has he been the father all along? Well, tonight we find out on Jerry Springer. The results are in. In the case of them fat sack of eggs under that lobster's belly, you are the father. Nah, Jerry, I ain't the father, man. I don't look anything like them eggs, man. Them eggs is black. I've heard it a million times. Save it for Mr. Krabs, buddy. So Latifa is just days from giving birth now, and I got a great shot of her, and you can really see that there's at least 200 eggs under there, but she's been hiding under the Christmas moss. She likes eating it. She likes eating brine shrimp out of it, and she's going to stay under there for the next couple of days, and I'll update you when she gives birth. So the eggs have turned from black to brown and they're actually forming into little crayfish right now. They are hatching. And if you look under her now, these are all the little baby crayfish they have just hatched and they're still holding on to their mama right now, but in the next couple days they're going to detach. So she's finished giving birth and there's a few babies still hanging onto the bottom of her but aside from that she's doing really well eating a bunch of food right now and mama lobsters they only take care of their young for the first day or two until they jump off so i'm gonna feed her and i'll keep you guys updated so the crayfish are now fully on their own and I took Latifa out and put her in her own tank because at this point she can eat her own babies and we don't want any cannibalism going on. These babies, they love eating brine shrimp and they're fully functional on their own. They do not need a mother at this point. So I'm netting a few of them out and this is what they look like at this point. They're very small. They're honestly pretty cute and I'm going to be adding them to this mini tank that I have set up. It's perfect for crayfish to grow up in. And we can compare the development of the ones that are in this mini tank with the ones that are in our main hatchery. Week two, we can see some progress on all of the babies. 
It looks like they have gone through their first molt because they're getting a little bit bigger. And it was just Thanksgiving and I fed them some fat from the ham. And oh my God, they loved it. Everyone in the tank went crazy for this ham fat. And I guess it makes sense why people use fatty items like KFC and other nasty chicken to catch crayfish in traps. Because boy, do they like this stuff. Taking a look at our mini tank, these boys look really good. I think they might be on their second molt as opposed to our big tank where everyone seems to be on their first molt. Look at this guy in my hand. He, he looks dope. And it may have something to do with there only being five of them in this tank. It's a two gallon, but they are tiny. Little update on Kush the mantis shrimp. He's doing really well. We actually fed him Latifah's husband, but you know, he went and decided to kill Mr. Shu, our beloved horseshoe crab instead. And I was really bummed about that. But what can you do when you have a horseshoe crab living under the sand in a mantis shrimp tank? Just let him live, let him chill. You're literally insane. In the main hatchery, we're experiencing exponential growth. These guys are getting huge, and it's super fun to watch these crayfish swim around and interact with each other. They sword fight, and they just eat a bunch of food all the time. And they're sharing the tank right now with some guppies. I've had these guppies in here since before these crayfish were even born, and they've been breeding different lineages. I'm feeding them bloodworms and the crayfish are fighting over it like Lady and the Tramp. They function almost like a little society. A lot of the babies came out this bronze color right here and I think it's actually pretty cool. Another large percent of the babies are this silver color right here. This one is also pretty cool looking. And take a look at the genetic breakdown of these 150 to 200 crayfish, 50% bronze, 40% silver, and 10% mixed. I think it's pretty amazing how this whole colony of mini crayfish can come from one female, and it's definitely a good thing that she's not in the tank anymore. This is my male guppy named Chad. And he's really beautiful. He definitely likes to show off whenever people come up to feed the tank. And he's breeding with every single female guppy in this tank. So I should have some pretty cool little baby guppies coming soon. These are his two baby mamas. And he's definitely the alpha of this tank as he's got every female in here pregnant. So we're on the fourth week and our crayfish are doing really well. They're developing, but this tank is not gonna be able to hold all 300 babies for long. So what I've done is I've netted a couple babies out and we're gonna go ahead and feed them to our seahorse. Oh, Jesus guys. Jesus guys, he's literally eating that crayfish. Ooh. My seahorse usually eats ghost shrimp and he loves them. So I figured that these crayfish would probably be a perfect snack for him. And I'm only gonna feed him a couple of them because I really do love these crayfish. But this tank is already starting to get overrun with crayfish and he seems to really like eating them. So I guess I'll keep giving him a few if you guys like that. But if anyone wants to adopt a crayfish, hit me up, I guess. I guess I'll send you it. My seahorse doesn't have a name right now, so guys, comment down below. What should I name my seahorse? I will 100% choose someone from the comment section. You guys just got to give me some good names here. And thank you to everyone that comments on all my videos and shows love. I'm putting some names on the screen. You guys are the real OGs. And if you guys like today's video, let me know in the comment section and you might end up in my next video. 
I added this little diver's helmet decoration and it's pretty cool. <laughs> They're going inside it and it provides some cover for all the crayfish. So I will keep you guys updated with this saga and leave a like if you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you want to see. I appreciate you guys all for watching. And this has been Latifah's Journey.